Hello. Um, this is like my fourth take on trying to make a, a decently short video while ranting at the same time. It's really hard to do that. Anyway, this is a response to the response to the, re to the attack in London on the 3rd of June. <clears throat> it's two days ago. So what happened two days ago in London? As if no one already knows. There was a terrorist attack on the London Bridge that killed seven people and left 48 of them injured. People in surrounding boutiques and restaurants and stuff were escorted to safety far away from the bridge. And it boiled down to Islamic terrorists. While they were killing people, they were shouting in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay. It boiled down to the British army or police force, whatever, shooting them down. Now, if you know anything, you know that the UK is pretty much a gun-free zone for most police officers and shit like that. So it's very serious. And afterward, and this is the part where it starts getting stupid, Sadiq Khan was telling the people of London that they had nothing to be alarmed about. They had nothing to worry about. Everything was fine. Whatever. Donald Trump tweeted to Sadiq Khan that basically that response was disgusting. That his people, Sadiq Khan's people, have died and have, you know, been seriously injured. And all he had to say was, you know, don't be alarmed, guys. It's okay. We got it covered. Whatever. And Sadiq Khan's spokesperson because Sadiq Khan couldn't say it himself, or whatever, is that Donald Trump and a few other people have taken what Sadiq said out of context. Now, when people say that they've been taken out of context, what they're saying is, oh, no, 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 don't leave me. Let me explain myself. Let's also mention that Sadiq Khan has not once said anything along the lines of this being involved with Islam. Sadiq Khan is Muslim. This is important because Sadiq Khan, if he were to say anything, he'd be condemned to hell according to the religion of Islam. So, seven people died, 48 people injured. Let me create a really shitty visual here for you guys. The media response is focusing on the exchange of words between Sadiq Khan and Donald Trump. This side, we have Sadiq and Donald. I have stupid fingers. So we have two leaders bickering over here. Over here, we have people dying. We have the people who are dead and the people who are dying and the people who were attacked. And my face is the general public, okay, on online and in other countries and shit. So people are dying over here. Loved ones are mourning because their loved ones have been killed in the name of Allah. And the media and most people are focusing on what Sadiq and Donald Trump have to say to each other. People are dying over here. Okay? Like, they're, they're dead. Okay? But all people care about is what Sadiq and Donald Trump have to say. And the media is only covering what Sadiq and Donald Trump have to say to each other. They're covering virtually nothing about the people who died and the people who are dying. The people of London overnight went from having any faith at all in Sadiq to praising their love to Donald Trump, okay? This is in London. This is a very liberal city, okay? And they've had it. They've had enough of the suppression of Islam and, and how the Muslims are attacking 
the people of London and the people of UK and Paris and Sweden and, and fucking Norway and Germany. People are getting tired of it. And all, you know, the people who aren't in these areas, east or west of Europe, <laughs> don't fucking care. They're still claiming that if you blame it on Islam, then you're a racist or you're an Islamophobe. Now let's boil down here. Islam is not a race. It is a religion. And you want to know what? Most of us are fucking prejudiced towards it because it sucks. It's a shitty religion and it breeds shitty people. Okay. So we have people over here that are like, oh, it has nothing to do with Islam. Donald Trump and Sadiq are making fools of themselves, blah, 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 blah. People are dying here because they were basically sacrificed for Allah. And that's really disgusting. The general public cares more about gossip than it does about the people who were killed. How caring and, and humanitarian is that? We're in a world where people are trying to care more about other people and trying to understand and, and make sense of everything. You can understand something and still not like it. You see what I'm saying? You can accept that it exists without just groveling at its feet. Why are people prioritizing what Donald Trump and Sadiq have to say to each other over the lives that have been sacrificed in the name of Islam? People are dying everywhere in the name of Islam. Either they're not Islamic enough or they aren't Islamic at all. That's basically what it boils down to. Or they're gay. Or they are women not wearing hijabs. Okay? Like, it's for the stupidest reasons. Everything that the West stands for is the complete opposite of what Islam stands for and will tolerate. Somehow, people on the West don't see that. Don't get me wrong, there, there are a shit ton of people that are opening their eyes and they've known from the beginning. But the sad truth is, the voice of Western people, you know, that the world gets to see, are people who don't know anything about Islam. People who don't know anything about Muslims, they don't know anything about the history of Islam. <clears throat> so of course, naturally, all they're going to focus on is what Donald Trump and Sadiq have to say to each other. They don't want to face the fact that, yes, all these people died because of Islam. They don't want to focus on the fact that something so unpleasant came from Islam. And it just, it's, it's baffling. How can you claim to care about the human race? How can you ca claim to care about people and be humanitarian if you're so quick to turn away from people who have been hurt, even by other people? You can't possibly expect people to believe you you just, it's not how it works. Like I said, Londoners overnight switched from Sadiq Khan to praising Donald Trump. That's a big historical event. That is a major step. And somehow still the media is, is lying to people, saying it has nothing to do with Islam. It, it's... Donald Trump is making a fool out of himself once again, quote-unquote, and he's being racist, which is stupid. It's stupid because, once again, Islam is not a race. There are plenty of white Muslims, and they're just as shitty. So, can someone help me make sense of why the words exchanged between Donald Trump and Sadiq Khan are more important 
than the lives that have been lost. In UK, there have been three Islamic terrorist attacks in three months. That is a lot. It is increasing. It is getting a lot more frequent now. How much, how many lives will have to be sacrificed before people start fighting back? Before people want to start fighting back? Excuse me. How long will it take? How many children have to be abused and murdered before people start realizing, hey, maybe this religion isn't such a good thing? How many women have to be raped and gang raped and then murdered and in the most brutal fucking ways before feminists realize, hey, maybe we shouldn't support Islam? How many homosexuals and transsexuals have to be thrown off of buildings and burned alive and hung and executed in public before people realize, hey, maybe Islam isn't such a good religion after all? What is your definition of peace? Because killing people, murdering women, murdering children, raping women, children, and men is not most people's definition of peace. You want to know who does that? Islam. It's just something to think about. Stop focusing on gossipy bullshit when people are being killed. Unless you, in fact, are willing to admit that you don't care about those people's lives and you only care about how leaders are making fools out of themselves. At least be honest, you know? If you truly care about humans and life and you respect life, stop paying attention over here, start paying attention over here. A lot of people are going to die. And it could be too late before anyone starts fighting back. Which is a shame. Because the world as we know it will no longer be the same. <laughs>